Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Spooked. The Scary Story Improvised Podcast. I'm Damian Depping. I'm Colin Morey. I'm Cody Crane. Oh, hey, guys, back again. Another week. Another week, another dollar. Yeah. Uh, oh, another dollar. Another, yeah, another, yeah. Uh, another dollar. Yeah, you owe me five bucks, so... I, oh, I owe Cody five bucks. Do you, I don't okay. owe you money. Well, I think you probably owe Well, no, you bought no. me a shamrock shake. So I did. Square. I bought Cody a shamrock oh, shake, so we're yeah. covered. We're, no, we're, we're a even. shamrock shake is not $5. But plus a bottle of Perrier. This is like St. Patty's Day, basically. Is it? Well, well, it's after. It's Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we're all on our green beer hangover. I'm drink. I, I stuck to yellow. Colin put on so much makeup to cover up his skin was turning green. <laughs> Yeah. I just ate so much uh, leafy greens that my skin turned green. Oh, I thought it was just that. No. That is not true. Yeah, one hundred percent. I ate uh, a whole tin you, of spinach. You bragged to me about trying spinach, even though it was like in an omelet. So yeah, like <laughs> it was covered still in there. butter and cheese. <laughs> Butter, cheese, and egg does not make you like. It's not like a spinach salad. It's it's like a hint. It's close of enough. Close enough. Well, it's you know like who might uh, be able to decide this is our guest tonight. We got Alien off here. Hello. That's, that's literally the biggest intro I've ever had. <laughs> that's the biggest <laughs> intro you've ever had. We can make it bigger. Yeah. Do you want us to try and make yeah, it bigger? One more time. One okay. More time. All right. Ready. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening and viewing pleasure, <laughs> our first guest tonight, and only guest, because we only need one. <laughs> How's this going? Yeah, this is good. Is this keep going. Keep going. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. I lost track of where I was going with it now. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Haley and It was so big. That I got lost. That just made like eight <laughs> separate dreams come true. Yeah. Oh, so wow. I appreciate it. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 well, I feel like make a wish. Um, we make dreams come true. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks, John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we get him on? John Cena? Why yeah. don't you get John Cena <laughs> on? Would you come back question? for that one? That's the better question, yeah. I mean, I would come back to critique some of his moves, maybe. But. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That's all we're going to do. Shots fired. That's all we'll do. Just critique. <laughs> yeah. That five-knuckle shuffle? Yeah. Get it out yeah. of here. He could he could crush us all in the hamburgers, but we'll critique him. <laughs> what? Wait, crush us in hamburgers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I sorry, I misheard. Like he yeah. could eat more hamburgers than us? No, he no, no. could oh, yeah. turn us he into could, like, hamburgers. Smash oh. us into patties yeah. and throw us on the yeah. flat top, flip but us over a few times. See, we're on the same page on this side of the table. Yeah, we know what's going see, on. See, I just got burgers on the mind You're right now. You're still thinking about spinach. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Burgers and spinach, that's He's all like, I got. What is it? Why is it green? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's just a moldy burger. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. Oops. He yeah. would uh, crush us in a burger eating competition, Probably. I'm sure, though, too. Should we do that one day? Just have a burger eating have contest? Just have a big, a a big pile eating? of yeah. McDoon's yeah. hamburgers right here on the table. Us four versus him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I mean, yeah, okay, there done. we go. Okay. But Haley, <laughs> let me, let me get got? back to you. That here. was a great segue, by yeah. the way. Yeah. I'm good at the deflection. You're going to find this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so you're a photographer. Mm -hmm. right? You used to be an actor. True. Yeah. Uh, but you're, uh, you've uh, done uh, some uh, headshots in the room here. Uh, I, oh, I yeah. have. I've gotten yeah. two of the three out of you. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. I just don't know why, why you hate me, but that's fine. It's not that I don't. <laughs> it's, not that I, it's not that I hate you. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's just that I, uh, uh, I'm not an actor. So yeah, we don't know why he's here. I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> he kind of wandered no. in one day, and we're like, "All right, I guess." <laughs> they, no, I was I was about to say something, but then you guys would have easily jumped down my throat, so I'm not going to say. Well, it. no, now oh, you have to. No. Yeah. I was going <laughs> to say that I, I wandered in, and they thought I was funny enough to stick around. Uh oh, uh -oh. that didn't happen. Uh -oh. No, see uh -oh. there, that's not a right true down bit. the throat, right down. But the throat. I didn't say anything. <laughs> but you've also done the uh, the headshots of many of our past guests. Mm -hmm. But yeah. everyone tells me oh, that your finest piece is oh. my newest headshot. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> it's all about the subject. I mean, yeah. I've yeah. never told him that. <laughs> None of us oh. have told him that. No, but no, ev true. everyone Every else. It's a wonderful who books piece. Me says, yeah. can you just can you do anything to make me look more like Cody Crane? Mm. And so that's really that's my goal now. You know, every wow. day I come okay. in, I go, how, <laughs> like, how can I make you more of a Cody? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The, it's, uh, do you give them a bit of a beard? 
Like just a yeah. fake beard on you there? You just say, you just got to come in, but slum it. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's it, exactly. That's the only direction that's needed. Uh, and they're like, oh, Cody Crane, slum it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I, I I'm thought kidding. Very bad. nice that day. I, you're you're I, a very I'm pretty boy. <laughs> <I'm with you. laughs> that's, that's such a nice compliment. Yeah. I mean, you're welcome, bud. Well, in the history of 127 <laughs> episodes, never have I gotten a compliment from anyone. No, from you. That's a oh, okay, that's a flat out lie. You've gotten yeah. plenty of compliments. Well, from you, bud, but not. Uh, yeah, well, but you do nothing. Wait, yeah, I've got an image can you to uphold. Cody, right now, please let's rectify this. Oh, no. Cody, we're gonna start with some therapy, some group mm-hmm. therapies. Oh, I like the color of your eyes. Thanks, Ben. Have you seen how they pop? <laughs> <in this? laughs> <laughs> was this set it ta- up beforehand? Because that was way too quick. <laughs> is, is that all it takes? Yeah, I just slipped going a five. Right. Oh, I am keeping that. I was saving up. I figured I would have got like five hundo. <laughs> 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 well, I'm uh, home. <laughs> But uh, back to you uh, being okay. an actor before too. Yes, yeah. um, you uh, you were in uh, Degrassi and uh, the listener. That's true. It sounds like I got Googled. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, th- the thing is You're that remembering more than I do about those days. <laughs> I had to uh, I had to uh, IMDb this because you're very modest. You're not talking about it. But our uh, co-host uh, Care, that's not yeah. here. Yeah. I was over at his place the other day, and he just wouldn't stop talking about how he was on the listener. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Really? Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm saying is that uh, we like you much better. Yeah, because <laughs> that's the, that's the show with Jeff Bridges, right? <laughs> the movie? Or no, that's The Giver. <laughs> Whoops, my mistake. I'm gonna back out of this conversation now. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff Bridges is notably not a good listener. He, is he? he? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's been in the tabloids lately. Uh, not a good listener. Yeah. You guys haven't been keeping up? No. <laughs> not, not particularly. No. But to get into a spookier note. <laughs> oh, spook. <laughs> I keep on going into segways here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Segway um, City. <laughs> Do you believe in ghosts? You know, I must because I still run up the stairs from a dark basement mm. okay. yeah. at the age of 34, so there must be something in me that's <laughs> you, going like, huh. um, You could be afraid of uh, boogeymen's or vampires. No. Nah, Vampires. No, nah, I'm definitely picturing okay. like okay. someone in clothes from, you know, 150 years ago, and, and I don't even know what I think they would do. Oh, one of those uh, Civil War uh, reenactment <laughs> guys. They're pretty scary. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I'm, I, I'm afraid know, of them too. <laughs> I think anyone who's, yeah, well, we're not going to go there. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what? My parents live in a, a house that's more than 100 years old, and mm-hmm. it's had, you know, some unexplainable weirdness, we'll say. Okay. Um, so I think I'm right. I'm in, that, I'm in that funny zone of going, like, I don't know if I believe. But I also don't want to be here alone in the dark by myself, so yeah. mm. <laughs> I must. There's a flicker. When when you're <laughs> running uh, from the basement, yes, uh, I run sideways. Yeah, up si- the stairs. Okay, like a crab? yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of. Crossed yeah. Out? Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Was oh, that back against the wall kind of little thing? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you're. Yeah, you can see everything. Yeah. In front so of you. I get yeah. a better kind of 360. Yeah. Yeah. New yeah, yeah. situation. What What are you picturing? Like when you picture a ghost, what are you picturing down there? Yeah. Because you said um, you imagine like a 150 year old type of cloak. Like, why is well, it that ghosts are always like a hundred years old? Like, why, why is there no H and M where these yeah. ghosts live? I know. Or why aren't there um, like 800 year old ghosts? Well, no, you yes. know, well, the reason ghosts. I'm thinking something in that direction yeah. is just mm-hmm. because the house is, you know, 110 plus yeah. years old. That's right. Yeah. And sense, I was yeah. really just throwing in a random number when I said 150, and now you're making me answer well, for it. That's I prob- am. That's oh, yeah. probably the age <laughs> we ask the tough questions here. It's boo. That's probably <laughs> yeah. the age of the people who were buried under the house. True. Oh yeah. True. <laughs> there you go, Colin. See, yeah. we solved yep. the mystery. <laughs> See, that's why we should have our own uh, spooky detective show, <laughs> where we figure out where spooky, the ghosts spooky are from. Dicks? Wouldn't that spooky be like dicks? A spooky dicks? <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to be okay? No. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. No. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a good, a good title. <laughs> we can work with this. It sounds more like a spooky Carmen San Diego, but oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's we should, okay, that's better. We should all get Carmen San Diego getups. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I look great in that it, hat. It's settled. <laughs> so okay, so, oh, back okay. to back to another segue here. <laughs> 
segueing back in. Yeah. yeah. We're really on track today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tangent City. Mm-hmm. Uh, Haley, have you ever had a paranormal experience? Uh, I've had enough unexplained, bizarro experiences okay. that I would lean towards a paranormal explanation. Oh. You like how you like how I'm tiptoeing around this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, again, my parents' house is really old, and we found that when we moved in, there everyone over the first few years had their own kind of strangeness in the house that couldn't be explained. Um, you know, mine was I I was 12 or something, and I had a lamp up on a shelf, unplugged, mm-hmm. and it was just pushed all the way back with some things in front of it, and I was doing something, whatever it was, and the door, my bedroom door slammed shut. And so I went and opened it back up because I thought it was a breeze or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then as I sat down, the lamp, uh, there was no breeze in the room, but the lamp sort of flew off the shelf and landed on me. And then the door opened again. And so I kind of went like, oh, okay. Uh, Okay, that's just supposed to stay that way. I'm just going to leave that there. (laughs) You know what I mean? So it's a lot of mini things like that. I haven't Mm -hmm. seen an entity um, but just there is some funny weirdness. You know, I was doing laundry there, and it's in the basement. It's an unfinished rock wall <laughs> basement. Ooh. And I went down to get something, and all of my things had been pulled out of the dryer and were on the floor in front of it, and things were sort of drawn around, but there was no one down there. Oh. Yeah. Like, that's a dangerous thing, though, to throw a lamp, to go back to that one, because, mm-hmm. like, to throw a lamp on mm-hmm. someone, mm-hmm. there's a lot of problems that can come with that. So, in my professional opinion... So, what opinion, you're saying is, like... It's a demon. A jerk. Okay. <laughs> demon. Like, insurance issues? Like, liability? It's a demon! Yeah. Oh, okay. So, well, that's the real question, though. When we're talking about ghosts and stuff, do you guys all... Do you picture this sort of humanoid identity, or is it just, you know, funny things get moved, funny things happen, and it's more of a presence or an experience? Like, where do you guys stand on that? Well... I think I'm more into the vague energy yeah. Like yeah weird things happen but it's not necessarily someone who looks like you in a costume like, yeah uh, i you know? i'm along with that as well like i i'm a believer in kind of like there's like an ethereal plane what yeah. about like kind of thing where it's like there's just it's energy there's not really for it's not formed it's just flowing energy that can interact with what about world. what about like ghost dogs no, ghost dogs are real, 100%. They look like real dogs, just yeah. with, like, a filter on them. I just, which, I had to like, check. Valencia? Oh, yeah. Like, which I think filter? Uh, they, they, they all have Instagram Yeah, like, more like a Juno or, like, a... Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I hear right, you. Yeah. Cool. An cool. X-Pro, too. Cody, what do you think? <laughs> um, well, I know that... Uh, what I do know is that when I was a kid, I always said I saw a man and his dog, and my mom... Oh, so you have seen a dog ghost. Oh, okay. I have seen a dog ghost, yeah. Right. And my mom said that she went to um, a uh, psychic or whatever you call them. Medium? <laughs> medium. A psychic. A medium. Yeah. A, a medium-level psychic. Uh, a fraud. <laughs> a fraudster. Uh, yeah. as, as I call them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, so you're not having one on here? No, no. Well, we could. That'd be funny. But I don't. I would. I would scoff the whole time. You could audibly hear my eyes roll. I think <laughs> if that happens. So. Can you demo that right now? For uh, a mainly because <laughs> <laughs> that's his eyes rolling. I, wow. I need <laughs> to oil them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, say. yeah. It's mainly He's got because really dry he eyes. Yeah. yeah, He typically either has really dry eyes though, that's or true. really moist yeah. eyes to get like like, like squish sound. That's true. Right. I mean, I I don't believe in ghost dogs, but I have seen all. All dogs go to heaven. Uh, 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 the sequel uh, too, and all dogs go to heaven too. Okay, yeah. Did that one have a and uh, the all dogs go to heaven TV show? I never saw the TV, TV show. show. There was a TV. It was I saw the two movies. I don't remember I if it was TV good. Show. And then I think there was a Christmas one too. Oof. Yeah, I don't remember if any of those. You movies know a were good. lot about all dogs go to heaven. Charlie B. Barkin. <laughs> Is what? that his name? It was Charlie. It, it, it was Charlie. I yeah. think his last I name was. I think that was his name. Barkin. And then the other one was Itchy. And it was no, is Itchy or is it? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was Dom Deluise. Yeah. yeah, and it was the it was kind of like the mutt of the dog, and like, and I know like my always cartoons. be scratching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It sounds yeah. like he believes in ghost dogs too. I believe in cartoon <laughs> ghost dogs. <laughs> I believe in the wonders of animation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if anyone out there is listening, <laughs> I, I believe. anyone's listening, I really Jeez, wanted to real. know the sentence was ending. Yes, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening, and... I said, uh, yeah. I believe, in ghost dogs. In cartoons. <laughs> Just letting them know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we got a story to tell tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why we're here. 
Right. I almost forgot why we were I thought we were, we were just having a good hangout fun time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, we're talking favorite movies. We're <laughs> oh, we got some stickers. Oh. Some oh, markers. Yeah. So you can, uh, Haley, you can draw a position there. This box is getting really cluttered. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's easy to carry stuff in, too. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it just it's more it. of a multi-purpose box at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there... Oh. 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 Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Uh-oh. Whoa. This is a lot... This looks like pressure, guys. It's... Looks I like a black crow. A little but sad face. Know. Nope. <laughs> can you guess who that is? Uh, it kind of looks like Diesel. If we're talking about old wrestlers. Oh, oh it's, uh, I mean, Bret Hart. You know what? That's yeah, funny. Yeah. Bret Hart was my second guess, except for the Widow's Peak bangs. I don't remember him having bangs that like come down in a point. Yeah, the, I didn't watch did, wrestling then. Did though. Diesel? Yeah. No, but it, no, but this just looks very like. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. And that's my Diesel. The sure. Macho Man. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm without being the macho, like the, <laughs> never mind. Again, <laughs> another dream coming true. Yeah. 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 Guys, this is a really dense lunch hour. I'll tell you. <laughs> That's that should be our new motto: the densest lunch hour. <laughs> the dent- densest. Oh, I thought you said dentist. The I was dentist like, lunch hour. What? <laughs> Today on the dentist <laughs> lunch hour, <laughs> root canals for all. Did you floss before you came in? Me? Are you asking me? <laughs> This is the dentist lunch hour. Yes, I did for <laughs> I'm glad At I could see. At some point. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad, glad I could glad see we... that go into a slow death. <laughs> <laughs> so the positions. All right. <laughs> yeah, the positions uh, that Cody and I drew are the swing characters. So we have no responsibilities really throughout the story. We can oh, be as many just characters. Just you wait, Colin. Uh, as we I want. think I was supposed to get one of those. Just you wait, right. Colin. <laughs> yeah. You'll have so much responsibility. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> because I'm the narrator. <laughs> Oh, and no. I control the, the, everything. Well, we'll I'm counting on you. <laughs> don't count on me. <laughs> <laughs> I want everyone at home listening to know, don't count on me. <laughs> I want everyone at home listening to know that I retired from acting like okay. over half a decade ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but everyone, <laughs> everyone says that you are the best improviser of all time. I'm the best improviser of all headshot photographers uh, who oh. work within a two-kilometer radius of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Can't argue that. You can't argue that. There's a few. This is I an area that's probably full of them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, proud. I'm proud. I have a medal. Uh, so with that uh, decapitated uh, head of keep Brett so Hart... Watch me and we'll oh, do this yeah. together. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's fun. Um, I click on a random celebrity generator and you'll have to be one of these celebrities at some point Fantastic. in the story. <laughs> and you're really good at impressions too, right? Oh, that's what they say. Impressions of myself uh, my immediate <laughs> family, I yeah. do all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe one of these people is in your family and I'll learn something new. Oh, that'd uh, be cool. But uh, James Earl Jones. Uh-huh. Is he? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, George Lucas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Emma Watson mm. and uh, Catherine Hepburn. You know what's weird is that those are actually all in my uh, in my extended family. Oh, wow. every single wow. one? Wow. All of them, wow. yeah. Very cool. Okay, great. Well, that sounds like fun. <laughs> this is a random family generator, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is the Haley yeah. and Dom yeah. family tree, actually. Yeah. So, uh, um, so which one? Which one would you like? <laughs> Where? Were, okay, wait. James Earl Jones, yep. Emma Watson, George Catherine L- Hepburn, and George Lucas. <laughs> George, George Lucas. Lucas, which he has a very distinct voice. What's George Lucas's voice? I have no idea. No. <laughs> I've never heard. Oh, of great! That. Then we'll He's, go there because uh, no one knows. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm George I, I Lucas. Made a Star Wars. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. is that how he sounds? He sounds uh, like me, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would have gone Emma Watson, but my mum was born in England and will crucify me over a bad accent. Oh. So oh. I wouldn't dare. Okay. <laughs> it's nice fair. to it's nice to hear she's going to be listening. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but that would get very uh, spooky because. Uh, She's probably close to here right now, so she might run down That's true. and um, crucify Luda, you Luda. live on air. Oh, hey, wow. oh, then we'll get real paranormal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Should we all do our bad British accents? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to stay far away from that. All right. Well, um, we'll see about that. So I'm George Lucas. All yeah. right. Okay. At some point. Yeah. And uh, I'm yeah. going to go to, uh, as narrator, I'm going to go to canigeta.com. To pick a location, a relationship, or a word. What are you looking at? 
Looking around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Want to scope out the scene, make Wait. sure that no one's coming in here trying to murder. Way to be present, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, uh, I was thinking that this would be in my head uh, a terrible place to be murdered because then you would be uh, stuck being our guest forever. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But so you're saying there is a heaven? You, would, <laughs> you could, you could haunt the dance floor. <laughs> I think I do that already. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go with a word. And the word is doors. Oh. Doors. So. But how will we ever get doors into a ghost story? The doors? Well, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and the end. It's the end. <laughs> Ghosts Spooky break already. on through to the other side sometimes. Uh, the yeah. doors went to see Star Wars, and then they died at the end. Oh, okay. All right, everybody, that's been spooked. <laughs> nice. uh, it's time for yeah. plugs. Well, good night, guys. Time for plugs. Um... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Knock knock. Who's there? Maybe a spooky story or two. Probably just one though. But we must not forget the knocking of the door that was just mentioned. The aforementioned door knocking. Who is at the door? Old Mr. Featherbottom waddled his way up to the door. He, he knew who could be visiting him at such an hour. Who could be bothering him when he's in his nightcap? Who could be there when he's trying to enjoy his evening bowl of porridge? Who's at the, the damn door? That's right. Mr. Featherbottom was a mean old man. I don't <laughs> like visitors. He didn't like visitors. <laughs> Just open up, Featherbottom. Oh, boy. Who is that? <laughs> Rather than opening the door, Mr. Featherbottom preferred a series of interrogating questions through the door. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll just have our conversation muffled then, Featherbottom. Oh, I don't, I, I can't really hear you. Fine, let me open up the door. That's right, he opened the first door, but didn't open the screen door. <laughs> you there can were... talk <laughs> through a screen. There's no muffling of uh, voices through I a screen. I know how a screen works. <laughs> well, what do you want? <laughs> All right, <laughs> Listen, I'm just here to deliver your mail. That's right. It was the <laughs> mailman, Mr. Postman. That was his last name, coincidentally. He fell into the job, honestly. <laughs> I have OCD. I have to hand deliver each piece of mail. Uh oh I can't put it in a mailbox. Maybe this isn't the profession for me, but... Probably not. No. Why, while Mr. Featherbottom was pleased to get his mail, he was kind of confused why it was being delivered at 8 p.m., well, I, I, I am one for getting my mail, but at such a late hour? Featherbottom, I'm a workaholic. You know that about me, don't you? Yeah, but I, I, I totally thought you would have done it in the morning. No, no, no. Ain't, ain't no time too late for me, John. John? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take my mail then, and you'll be on your way. Isn't that right? You don't care to learn my last name? Featherbottom, Featherbottom, Featherbottom. It was his porridge calling him back. <laughs> oh, oh, hold, hold on, John. I need, I need to shut the door in your face. Featherbottom, Featherbottom. <laughs> Whoa, no, no, no. Slam! No, by the way, I haven't given you your letter. Oh. The door slammed in his face. John Postman <laughs> rubbed his bleeding nose because it hit him in the face. <laughs> Postman. That explains why I'm a postman. Yes, he knew. He was still confused. Uh, Waddling back to his truck, he... His, <laughs> <laughs> his bag was very heavy. Everyone in this story waddles. Everyone waddles. This, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, this is Penguin Land. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a penguin. <laughs> Except, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess back to my penguin family. I'll try this again in the morning. Featherbottom likes his mail in the morning. But his truck wouldn't start. Oh, God, not this again. Oh. He knew he was going to have to go back and ask Mr. Featherbottom to give him a jump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Featherbottom, you hear me? Oh, I guess I should knock again. Who's at the damn door again? Feather bottom, feather bottom. Hold on at the door. I need to address this weird voice coming from my bowl of no, porridge. John, just come on. No. I'm John. Feather no, bottom, feather, feather bottom. bottom. Okay, John, 
I'm gonna let you in, but don't speak ill of the porridge. I would. <laughs> wait, why, why would I? Okay. All right. I'll accept I'll, I'll that. Let, I'll let you in. He forgot to open the screen door. Can you open that? Oh no. Wait, you want me to open the screen? Yeah, door? Yeah, open the screen door. I keep the screen door unlocked, but I keep the the, the wood door locked. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I have, I have a wooden door. I and think I that's keep a, it locked. I think that's a normal thing. I don't think you needed to really tell me. <laughs> well, I felt it was necessary. <laughs> All right. Well, come on in. Here's your letter. I oh I I, I thought I grabbed it. I get yeah, tra- oh. yeah. No, you closed the door in my face. You uh, hurt my nose. You made it uh, bleed um, at least two test tubes. Man, that's a weird <laughs> unit of measurement. <laughs> I mean, I got them handy, so... As fun as this conversation was, the two decided to make their way to the drawing room where the bowl of porridge was seated. John wanted to bring up the discussion about getting a jump for his mail truck, and Mr. Featherbottom wanted to interrogate the mailman for disturbing him twice in one night. Mail so what are you doing in my apartment? Featherbottom, Featherbottom. Okay, uh, what? pause on that question. I need to just go into my uh, feather kitchenette feather for a quick feather minute. Feather it, it sounds like it's the borage in front of us. Feather bottom, feather bottom. I, I'm going to take the porridge with me. That's right. Okay. It was the anchovy and sardine porridge in front of them. I, uh, he was a penguin, remember? <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a, we're all penguins. It's all normal penguins. for me to eat an uh, anchovy and sardine porridge. John, John Postman was disgusted. <laughs> Gross, 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 gross. I don't like that porridge one bit. Okay, fine. More for me. Now, I must excuse myself to my kitchenette with my bowl of porridge. I broke his one rule of not salting his porridge. Oh, you just hush your little tiny beak. Mr. Featherbottom <laughs> went into the kitchen, and as soon as he was there, he pressed a secret button underneath the counter. The walls <laughs> began to slowly close in in the, li- in the drawing room. Ba-doop! <laughs> John Postman was trapped. Oh, God. Trapped in here. My truck's broke down, so even if I do get out of here, I won't be able to drive my truck. It was just like college all over again. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, college days, college days. How I'm brought back to you. Oh, boy. Okay. Damn, I should have installed faster uh, closing walls. Before he was (laughs) crushed to death, John Postman noticed a small vent... (laughs) He he greased himself up with some leftover fish oil that Mr. Featherbottom had left on the bedside table. And in I go, and... <laughs> and he <laughs> slipped through into a different room. But where was he? It was dark. It was cold. Oh, it looks like some kind of dungeon. It was damp. Oh, my... Oh, wait. Who's, who, who are you behind those bars? Hello? Oh. Is there someone there? Oh, my God. It was a grizzled voice. <laughs> it's... Perhaps a bearded man? My, my, <laughs> my word is... That or, or penguin. Penguin George Lucas? <laughs> well, I'm a penguin now, yes. <laughs> yes. You weren't always a penguin? Come closer. I've been in this dark room for so long. I need you closer. Uh, okay. Ooh. This is. This Re- seems like the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, I was George Lucas. And then uh, Featherbottom up there really... He was not keen on Jar Jar Binks, mm. so he brought me down here. Nobody and he's slowly was. been, slowly been feeding me this weird talking porridge. Oh, the sardine one, yeah. yeah. And I noticed I, I grew flippers. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now, what kind of porridge? I've never. Now tell me, were you a penguin before you came down here? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> then I'm not really sure what. What his plan is. And I, I thought, I was under the impression that this whole time, all of the penguins have looked up to you so much thinking that you were always a penguin. George, who's there? It's me, acclaimed penguin director, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, that's the penguin director. <laughs> never, <laughs> never mind, George. I always get you two mixed up. It happens uh, a lot. George, who's our friend? Uh, he started as a penguin. You started as a penguin? Okay, I think a lot of people start as a penguin, so... <laughs> a lot of people start as penguins. Okay. So wait, why Why are you down here? Are yeah, you getting us out? Are you going to help us get out of here? Uh, no, I was almost crushed to death. We got to get back to set. But we're trying to work set. on the Jar Jar solo yeah, the film. J- oh, I can't wait for that one. The only reason that hasn't come out... 
I agree. We've been stuck. <laughs> I agreed to do it. You can that, free it. That's the reason. Mr. No Postman. funding issues. I am contractually Mr. Postman, obligated. If you get us out of here, we will give you an exec producer credit that, yeah. in the Jar Jar Binks solo film. <laughs> I'm thinking of turning him into a penguin, though. Oh, yes. We'll give you this Jar Jar Binks penguin mask, too. And if I do that, then maybe they'll change my name to John Movieman. <laughs> Who's they? <laughs> Hollywood. Oh, we've been there. We can take you. We can take you. Just get us out. Me? And get us something other than that talking porridge. Yeah, you need to get the keys. The, oh, have you seen them? They're on Mr. Featherbottom. Oh, well, I, had, I just escaped from him. He wears it on a chain around his neck. But you're much younger and more agile. Maybe you can yeah. climb up that vent. Well, I'm not get, that young. Go back Here. through. Younger. <laughs> go back through the. D take Don't this post rusty men hammer. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want me to kill him? No. We're just saying, <laughs> do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Kill him. N no. Well. I mean. Don't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wink. Don't don't kill him. I just, <laughs> I'm not good at picking up these things. Okay. Do you want me to kill him? It's very dark in here, I know. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kill him. Okay, go, go. I'm gonna kill him. Okay, go. wait, well. Mm. If we're all in for me to kill him. Are we, are we in for him? We're all in together on this one. George, what I do mean, you think? I mean, I'm not saying not to. Mm-hmm. In a court of law, we would mm -hmm. all be in on the murder. No. Well, no, 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 no. no I'm no, just no, no, saying, no. like, I That's was down here we the said, whole time. We were... Don't kill him. Featherbottom's <laughs> had us down here for... Like, Wink. So long, I don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. I, okay, I don't... <laughs> you guys gotta be in on this one with me, because I don't need keys. I can just walk out of here. Oh, well, can, can you? Walk, well, get the key. Well, I assume so. If I can get to him, I can walk out of yeah, here, right? You're not so gonna you get, would leave you're, us... You're you not gonna get to Hollywood. The famed penguin director Steven Spielberg mm -hmm. with his half penguin pal George Lucas. My half penguin pal George Lucas. Okay. And if you want to get in those in Hollywood big shot parties, dungeon. Hollywood. Oh, who's at the Hollywood big shot? Parties? Uh, you know all Bret the Hart. Big... Bret, Bret, <laughs> Bret Hart. Bret the Hitman yeah. Hart. No one. No yeah. one is he doing there? Oh, he's uh he's gonna be Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> oh well, we got him signed on. We got him signed on about ten years ago. He's still waiting for the call. <laughs> he is not aging well for that part. Hey, it, well, it's fine. It. He just has to do the voice work. It's all CGI'd after that. It could be anybody. You don't know. Listen, we'll put you in the movie. We will. Whoa, who? You who will can, I be? You can be a stormtrooper. Yeah, okay. Okay, you can be something. What? What do you want to be? Uh, um, uh, alien. <laughs> From Alien. Sure. Done. <laughs> you want to be... And then in lieu of payment, you'll just take care of the Featherbottom situation. Should we, should we call our, our friend, the claimed Penguin director, <laughs> Ridley Scott? Is he down here too? No, but we can call him. <laughs> Wait, you have a phone? <laughs> we got a landline. <laughs> you can oh, no. call anyone. Behind this curtain, we've actually well, got a whole a whole little setup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've no, been here a while. This is the only dark and dingy Listen, part. Listen, it's a dungeon, but he's not cruel. This is more of our foyer area, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah. This is the dank part that we haven't gotten to remodeling yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> takes a long yeah. time when you, you know, mm -hmm. you've got limited access. Yeah. Right. Should we call him? You should call the police. Oh. <laughs> I guess we could have done that. We didn't really that. think of no. that. Yeah. Wow. We usually have people to do those things for us. See, we, we've spent so much time making movies that nobody calls the police in the movies. There's got to be something magical that happens. And we were just hoping that a greased-up penguin would slip through the vent to save us, and here you are. Bang, bang, bang! It's time for feeding! Oh, uh, God. This guy. Okay. Down comes the porch! Oh, he's coming with more porch. Okay, just uh, go behind. He tinted it green for... St. Patty's. Oh. Uh, He's trying. He's trying. I'm feeling festive. It's very festive. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Featherbottom. You're welcome. Here's your anchovy uh, sardine por uh, porch. porch. Yeah. Here's your anchovy uh, sardine porch. I and for, for no... you, John. <laughs> you're he... not you're not upset that I <laughs> escaped from getting crushed to death? No, and either I'm you would get beside e you e uncaged. Either you would get crushed to death, or you would slip into into the dungeon. Mister Featherbottom was a very nonchalant bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Here's here's your regular human porridge. A hammer's knee. Uh, ow! But it was I... hard to find his knees because he was a penguin. You hit me in the rump. 
<laughs> Why did you do that? Call, call the police. You hit his badunkadunk? I'm going to try to kill him. Call I'm the gonna police. I'm going to waddle uh, out of here. Slap, 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 Oh, he's, uh, he's just going to run. Wait, I got it. Nope. Rip. You, oh, I slammed the door, and he took my keys. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Featherbottom ran up to the attic. He knew that there was the, that was the only place he'd be safe from these hooligans. <laughs> slop, 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 slop. Good, you've got the keys. Let us out. Yeah, it seems to me this is going to be very easy. This is very easy. <laughs> All right, well, I'll just unlock the door okay, here. Thank you. Yeah, I guess we'll All go right. up the stairs. All right, but we weren't always penguins. Yeah, okay. And we, we don't want to be penguins anymore. <laughs> what do you want me to do? It, but I'm <laughs> hey guys, down here, bring you to Hollywood. <laughs> down here, guys. Well, we can't go to Listen. Hollywood as penguins. Although, think what's gonna happen when we bring a talking penguin. That's true. Who That's wears true. a postman oh, outfit? Okay. Yeah, yeah right. but we have to be people. <laughs> the, no Listen, one... March <laughs> of the Penguins too. Well, I need some suggestion. This is a very new situation to me. <laughs> do you want to be in March of the Penguins too? Sure. Should we get our friend, James acclaimed Jones actor, on the phone? That's the one. <laughs> Guys, I'm a talking ball of porridge. Look at me. I just don't know if we can. Oh, uh, we right, can do fine. a movie with that. Mm. Oh no, I'm not thinking. Mo- I'm a. I'm a regular human porridge. Remember how you said you ate the the fi- the, the sardine porridge? Okay, I think we should just kick this guy. No, out. if you eat me, you turn back to a human. This bowl is not very marketable to the kids. <laughs> don't, don't you if want only, to be a human? If only someone could tell us how we could be human yeah. again. I think there's probably it's got to like, be right in front a of a magic us. orb or something. No, it's okay. Completely maybe, forget about me. Maybe an idol we need the to human steal. Porn. Maybe we need to take like a months long journey. Oh yeah, you know? should we go to like Rocky somewhere rocky terrain? Mmm, yes. Fine, we'll I'm find just ourselves. Over. Yeah, and that's yeah. how we will come maybe back. Maybe some spelunking. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know where yeah, we can get yeah, some like gear. This. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm along for the ride. Where? Is Harrison Ford available? <laughs> uh, he might be. Okay. Should we give our friend Harrison Ford a call? Yeah. Okay. Call him. Are you not having a good time? <laughs> I, w- I want uh, Mr. Postman? How are we getting out of here? It's fine. We'll Wait just a call minute. Harrison Ford. You're a mailman, aren't you? Yeah. Don't you have a mail truck? Mm. Yeah. That sounds like a getaway car. Sure does. Yeah, well, like I'm good with getting you guys away. Like, Can you I th- reach the gas pedal on your own? Yes. <laughs> How insulting. Well, you don't actually have well, legs. Like, was it Why a car- would I have a mail truck and drive it here if I couldn't reach it? That was just, well, a, maybe that was just like a low blow. Driver. Listen, the penguin thing's new to us. We're Is, still trying to... Maybe that's why the car wouldn't move, because you forgot you were a penguin and you couldn't it just, reach the gas. <laughs> it really just feels like a low blow here, yes. Well, whatever. <laughs> Whoa! Maybe you guys are the villains here. Hey, you can't blame us. You made that porridge commit suicide. We didn't make that porridge do anything. Yeah, he tipped himself over. That porridge lived his own life. Listen, the porridge's <laughs> mental health can't be our responsibility. No. All right. We're Hollywood directors, not mental health raiders. Well, you know what? I, 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 I'm I starting to think that I, I don't like Hollywood very much. Oh, don't you? Uh, no, I don't, because I'm seeing a couple of, uh, real jerks right here. (sighs) Okay, but like... (laughs) But like about getting rid of the penguin parts. Yeah, we don't want to be penguins. I just... I don't want to help you anymore. You just... Listen, hey, 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 hey. I think you're down here for a reason. I'm pretty sure we're the ones that just negotiated you getting out of there. I, I got us out of here. No, we, I'm pretty we sure that was us. We got you out of that house. Sure. We got you a deal. Steve, that was us. Wasn't that us? It was us. That we was got us. we got you Listen. a deal to be in the Jar Jar Binks solo movie. We got and you a March deal. Of the Penguins too. March of the Penguins too. Well, maybe maybe it just wasn't what it was cracked up to be. Maybe a uh, a postman is what I want to be. You want to be in the postman? Postman's better than the Stormtrooper. We could do a postman sequel. I'll get my friend, <laughs> acclaimed movie star, uh, Kevin Costner. Please do Done. not put him on the phone. You don't want me to get him on the phone? <laughs> no. He'll tell you all about his movies. <laughs> we'll talk about Waterworld. I don't want to hear about Waterworld. But you're a penguin. Is yeah. that not your favorite Kevin Costner movie? Maybe. It's the March of the Penguins Waterworld because the polar ice caps are melting. And then it becomes the Waterworld. Starring Done. the penguin. Okay. Trying to survive. Oh, like Danny DeVito? 
Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to call Danny DeVito up? <laughs> if you're going to call any of the options, I think Danny DeVito is probably the best one. Okay. All right. <laughs> and while they made that phone call, Mr. Featherbottom was in his attic, plotting away. All right, sure. Tapping at some dials. If I twist these things... He had a hard time twisting, what with him having flippers and all. If I put enough pressure, then I... Okay, nope, I, I'm a little too slick. Finally, he got it. Goodness, oh, God! Oh, you successfully summoned a ghost. Oh, I turned the wrong dial. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, you're stuck with me now. Well, I guess so. Um, so you're a ghost, right? Yeah. What you want me to possess someone? Is that all your powers? Is that all you can do? Well, I can throw a lamp on them. You can throw a lamp. Can you throw a lamp? I can do two things. I can possess <laughs> someone or I can throw a lamp on them. Okay, now, when you say possess someone, yeah. do you can, like, take over them and make them do things? And without further ado, the ghost possessed Mr. Featherbottom. <laughs> so if I were to ask you... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go downstairs and now and ghost, throw some lamps. Ghost Featherbottom grabbed all the lamps in the house <laughs> and hopped into his helicopter on the roof. <laughs> I don't want to do any of this. I don't want to do any you, of this. You listen, I'm going to slap your insides. Ow, oh, my kidneys. <laughs> the helicopter flew in close to the mail truck. Who's that behind us? Does anyone else hear a helicopter? <laughs> I don't see anything. That seems weird. All of a sudden, there was a loud thud on the top of the truck. Boom! What the hell was that? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Anyone know what that was? I think we can just ignore it and keep okay, going. We can I'm keep pretty going. sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Just um, oh, it's a lamp. Is this a lamp? Uh, Is that Featherbottom's lamp? Now tell me that's not making your legs hot. Is it a magic lamp? <laughs> Let me rub Wait, it. Rub it, rub it. <laughs> All of a sudden, a genie popped out. Yellow. Genie, yes. you need to get us out of here. We we wish that we were back in Hollywood and, 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 humans. and humans. humans. Snap, your wish is granted. <sighs> That's right. And Steven Spielberg and George Lucas were back in Hollywood with their little penguin pal, who was still a penguin. Wait, he, okay. So, Listen, I'm thinking about having you play a giraffe in your next film. A giraffe? I... Two more wishes. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've got a wish. Okay. I wish that we could throw aside all the bad parts of Hollywood and make ourselves be, be good directors who, who care about our penguin pals. And as the third wish, I wish everything went back to how it used no, to no, be. No, 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 yeah, that really wrapped up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a scary story. Felt very Groundhog Day esque. <laughs> mm. Haley, have you ever been that scared in your life? Definitely not. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. No. No, mm. that was. I might need to walk a walk uh -oh. out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Walk. Yeah, it's kind of dark. Uh, I yeah. tend to run from we'll dark take spaces. Take everyone for a yeah. walk around the block. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I feel. To, I I'll tell you, I feel changed, though. <laughs> Have you, have you ever been a part of a story so coherent <laughs> <laughs> that every uh, loose end was tied up neatly and everybody had a resolution? Well, no, that, I mean, that was very, uh, very tidy. Very, very oh, tidy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's clean. what we pride ourselves it's, on. It's uh, our tidiness. <laughs> I'm still, I feel like I'm still processing. I still feel like yeah. I'm a little penguin yeah. inside, yeah. Yeah. you know? And I, I like to think I'll take that with me for the rest <laughs> of my day. Except for like my, lunch just for the rest choice. of this day. Yeah, mm. I mean yeah. that's then, enough. Yeah. Really, like yeah. I don't, I don't need it. To go. <laughs> yeah. Should we all go to the zoo? Yeah, Russ, can we add in an animation so of all of us buds? turning uh, into penguins? Roll clip of us at the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have that? Yeah. Do you have a clip? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Should we get a clip of us at the zoo? <laughs> yes. Yeah. We, we, we'll get that. <laughs> what, yeah. what are you doing? Like what are you doing spring? this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Man. I like so you, to think that the Penguins is doing John. He's doing great now. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. mean, John was definitely the most together. I think of the group, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, he was the one who wasn't changed into something other than what he was. That's true. He was so. true to himself. Once we were in Hollywood and we tried to change him, mm-hmm. he didn't fall for it. You know. No, we tried. Like tra- really, the moral of the story. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let Hollywood change you. That's what that's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah. we delve, dive into some pretty deep things here. What? It's very real stuff that we deal with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and we get spooked, so we do. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, roll into some plugs. Yeah, <laughs> plug it up. Roll into those, Haley. Yeah. Do you have anything that you would like to? I mean, promote? you're just you're just gonna put me on the spot and make it sound like I'm uh, I'm all. Hey, check me out. But you can check <laughs> me out at. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fun. Um, yeah. I mean, if if you're into like really uh, boring Twitter followers, I'm on there somewhere. But uh, my big <laughs> thing is uh, Instagram. I'm hands off the and off. Um, you know, Facebook, Haley and off. My website's Haley and off photography. And I say and off like a light switch on and off. It's just a n d o f f. Very right. easy. Nice. Mm. And you can find a full profile. But you can on find Haley. Cody's photo. Oh, my on my <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Actually, Damien's on some of my business Ooh. cards. Hey, oh, wow. look at that. So well, how, did, how did he get on there? Shaking hands and kissing babies, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put those photos on the card. Oh. Oh, yeah. right. Those are for personal use. <laughs> Listen, I did need to set some new ones up, so if you got any babies lying around. <laughs> <laughs> Just lying around? <laughs> got any babies you're about to throw out? You know? Yeah, you know some spare ones. <laughs> I'll take your u- uh, used and unwanted babies. Mm. I feel like over the course of the last twenty seconds, the people who may have been interested in hiring me just <laughs> changed <laughs> drastically. Just yeah. Not the quantity so much as the type of individual, yeah. maybe that's what fair, they're that's looking fair. for. But okay. listen, if you want to see Damien uh, with some babies. <laughs> yeah, Apparently send us an email yeah. uh, at yeah. spookpodcast.com. <laughs> uh, let us know what your interest level is for that, and <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Yeah. And you can see a full profile of uh, Haley on the sonarnetwork.com oh, with geez. direct links to social medias. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. And Wait, no, you shut your part. mouth. I got something to promote, too. And I was saying, and, and I was going to pass it over to you. No, so you, weren't. you weren't. I yeah. see you with no, your phone. You oh, weren't. my God. <laughs> Anyway, a uh, little web series I did, uh, All for One Season 2, is coming out uh, March 21st. Oh. I believe it premieres is at Is it about 11. the 90s R&B? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the first season was a uh, was based around uh, the three musketeers, but set in a sorority. So, okay, yeah. all right. So but naturally, you were the lead. Yeah, you know. Okay, it. cool. Yeah, yeah, I was the sorority. <laughs> <laughs> you were uh, the sorority. But season house. two is uh, coming out. I guess that would be uh, this week. So yeah, uh, I'll put up some links when I, I got to get the link for it. But we'll put it up. Yeah, we'll, we'll be uh, we'll be tweeting all this stuff out. Get it's out there, podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Www, mm-hmm. www, www. Dot w. Now don't you start putting fake web addresses out. <laughs> <laughs> This podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network. 